Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Wednesday, July 6th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, we have Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. And all day, Eric DeShane. Hello. How are you boys doing today? Good. Great. Phenomenal. Great. Eric is, uh, I bet Eric is phenomenal. Still on vacation. Still on vacation, yeah. 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 Loving it right now. Day, yeah. Currently day two of my week off, and it's, uh... Feeling pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how many days are you going to have off in a row? Is that... It, well, it'd be... Three plus... Three, three plus, plus five. five. Ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Damn. Yeah. Ten days off, yeah. Damn. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm going to be taking my holidays in August. Mm-hmm. The week after our big shindig in the... In the forest there. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 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 Recuperate. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, man. So yeah, gonna have to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it is our movie club episode, mm-hmm. and today we are uh, reviewing Hustle, an Adam Sandler movie that's on Netflix about b ball. <laughs> about the basketball, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, to my surprise. You guys actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Was from, uh, mm-hmm. from what it sounds like. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Very much so. You knew I was gonna like it. <laughs> oh, absolutely! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this movie was was specifically crafted for you. It <laughs> totally was. Like, I'm like, oh, I bet you he's an actual player. Oh, I bet you he's actually in the business. Oh, I bet you he's all. And then when I watched the credits after, I'm like, yeah, every, pretty much everybody in this movie. It was. It was a part of the basketball thing. So yeah. it that's just. It made it so much more authentic. Like when I watched it, I felt like, mm-hmm. like I, I, I don't know. Like I just felt like I was part of the whole, the whole process. Like, yeah, you know, exactly. The scouting and everything, and no, but that, yeah, that was a yeah. good part with that. It was very much like yeah, the, the they got actors and athletes who were all there. It's like it just felt it felt like real still, right? So feel very grounded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should say uh, before we get too far, there's gonna be spoilers mm-hmm. in yeah. the episode. Because uh, we watched yeah. it, we're gonna, we're mm-hmm. gonna want to talk about it. But mm-hmm. uh, but I guess if for people who are gonna click away right away, you guys are both saying two thumbs up kind of thing. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it at least minimum like an eight out of ten for sure. Yeah, um, I'd say that too. It's not a normally a movie that I would watch, but mm. I'm really really glad I did. And Same it's movie. not like it's it's groundbreaking and it's anything new. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's a very run of the mill, good underdog story, feel good. Mm-hmm. Whatever, but it still felt fresh for some reason. I don't know what it was, but it, I, go watch it. You'll yeah. you'll be glad no, you did. A, a, sure. An average an average moviegoer will definitely still enjoy it. Like I know, yeah, a lot oh, yeah. of people. I'll, I'll recommend to people um, to watch it for sure. So. Yeah, go out check it out because yeah, it's worth yeah. it. Yep, it's very good. Very good. Don't necessarily have to be a basketball fan, but it uh, nope. just adds more to the experience if you are. I guess yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we uh we start off with our main guy Adam Sandler playing Stanley Sugarman. Sugarman. <laughs> Sugar <a> baby, <laughs> <laughs> Queens calling him Sugar baby, Sugar baby, yeah. And she uh, was fucking awesome in it too. Queen yeah. Latifah, yeah, she was great. She was she great. Was so good. Yeah. Him and uh, her her chemistry were actually it was actually pretty great. Like As, I was, was surprised really good. Like, yeah, it was yeah. really good with them. Yeah. Yeah. Like soon as yeah, he... they felt like a real couple, yeah. Yeah, like the like constantly like cracking jokes at each other's expense and stuff like that. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> when he first shows up, he, they're making that cake or whatever. He's like, I can't eat that whole cake. Looks like you already did. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fat jokes, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, he's a he's a uh, a scout for the uh, Philadelphia Seventy Sixers. Yep. Which was my first thing that threw me off because Adam Sandler is like notoriously uh, a Boston Celtics fan. So I was like, uh-huh. it's like, ah, he's going to be in with the Celtics, right? He's like, I don't know, six, uh-huh. six years. But then at the end, it's like, oh, he got drafted yeah. by the Celtics. Okay. Like, ah, I was, gonna, I was you, wondering why you couldn't they help chose... yourself, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why they chose that team in the end. I'm like, that's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I missed something about Larry Bird or something in there. I, I, no. I don't know, but like, yeah, yeah no, it's but... just his, his IRL favorite team, I guess. So, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's... So, yeah, one of the things that I took away from it was like the story was pretty run of the mill. Everybody 
played the roles very well. Ben Foster was a total prick. I, <laughs> yeah. he, he did great. And that's not really a role that he usually plays either. He plays like kind of like more sketchy, whatever kind of stuff. But like this one here, he's just like an like a smart, arrogant, straight up, straight up asshole. guy you, you you're meant to hate. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, like here's how it's gonna be. You're gonna do your job, and it's uh, I don't care what my dad said. Like you know, fuck mm-hmm. you, kind of thing. Like you're gonna do what you do, and you know, yeah, it's my and, show now. These are my ways, and too bad, right? But yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mostly, yeah, Napoleon complex in a, in a person yeah. form, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like everybody yeah. played the roles really well, but the thing that really irritated me about this because I'm notoriously disliked Adam Sandler for a long time, and like I'm like, man, he is fucking killing it as mm-hmm. this guy that's just a passionate basketball lover, and he finds this kid, and then right away he feels like a fucking attachment to him, mm-hmm. and he feels like he's gonna bring his dreams to life while also bringing his own to life. Like it's just kind mm-hmm. of like a mutual, like, hey man, I'll help you. Because I know you can help me, but he's not just doing it for himself. That's very apparent when he's at the airport at the end, when he's seeing mm-hmm. him off. And it was so sad. And mm-hmm. it's like, because you could tell, like, you know, he's upset about it, but he's not upset that, like, he didn't get his coach. Like, obviously, he is, but he's more upset that he couldn't that, have he, he, more he failed, for him. He mm-hmm. failed, he failed him. Person. Yeah, exactly. You, you like, get that sense fuck. of, like, yeah, like, like it, it, it wasn't so much like he's my, he's my meal ticket. It's like, now, no, you're mm-hmm. attached to him now. And you wanted to see him succeed and you can get him the chance. And that yeah. scene really hit, like, yeah, that's like, that was a good scene for him. Like he nailed it for being always oh. a a comedy actor. You wouldn't expect these kind of roles, but oh man, it was he did such a good job with it. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's just like I, I just right away I'm like, man, I wish I knew him in real life. Like you know, how cool be to hang mm. out with him. Yeah, mm. just like because he's just such a passionate guy. And he just knows fucking mm. everybody. He walks into like a basketball court. He knows this guy mm. and this guy. And they're like, oh hey man, hey twenty two, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And it's just like. Like, fuck, man, like, how cool would that be? Fuck, that's mm-hmm. cool. And he dresses up like an average Joe fucking bag yeah. sweater and just, like, fucking Reeboks and, like, track pants. Like, what the fuck? This guy's yeah. just, like, a middle-aged whatever, right? Like Little dad bod. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just, but it just got that, knows right? what he's looking for and just such a fucking, like, yeah. passionate basketball guy. Ah, it's so good. It's so fucking good. It's just such a realistic. It's like you're actually following. It's like you're watching a documentary almost, but not quite. It's like you're you're there with him on his own journey and everything. It's just, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, it's so well made. I can't believe it's oh. a happy Madison production too. Like, mm-hmm. right? Oh, like what the fuck you guys? And then like, it starts out with like him, like achieving his dream. And there's like, I don't know. You got to take a, take a step back now that yeah, mm-hmm. you know, the son's running the organization. It's like, mm-hmm. it's very different yeah. because he like, he's like stuck in his role. Cause he's like a victim of his own success. It's like, the, yeah. like how the son says it, like you're great as a coach, but you're indispensable as a scout. You're just like so good at being a scout that like, we need you to do that. Even though that you don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was an like, yeah. interesting twist there. But. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it was awesome. It's mm-hmm. very awesome. Mm-hmm. Would you think? I didn't know that. Guy at the at the beginning there, he's like, "How old are you?" Twenty two, and he's like, "You're twenty two And he's like, yeah. "Who's that?" Oh, that's my son. How old is oh. he? Ten. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, "Okay." And he's like, "I'm out of here." Like this guy's <laughs> fucking lying. And then he ended up being an actual basketball that's player. The like, oh, yeah. the reason the witch thinks he's eighteen years old is like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, man. no, like, he is a great man. part too. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big fire. <laughs> he got a birth yeah, certificate. Big, a big fire. Yeah, there's a big fire. He's like, oh, uh, like, okay. <laughs> like, oh, sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, total bullshit. That was good. Uh, another thing this movie does well: montages. Holy montages! Mm-hmm. Montages on montages. It was a long one. That the, the, the yeah. mid the mid movie montage. I thought it was over. It went like another three minutes yeah. longer. Like, oh my god! It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the montage he fails in the middle and then like yeah. the second montage starts and he like he mm-hmm. <laughs> succeeds at the end of it yeah but i really like the the opening montage of him like just flying around everywhere and just like mm-hmm. fucking eating like oh, all fast King. food and all the these part, exotic places the part he's where he's like eating. eating kfc on the on the plane and the one woman's just like well <laughs> like that yeah she like, like covers like, her like that would that would be awful for sure yeah <laughs> on the plane <laughs> yeah yeah so funny man yeah because he's like in all of these like exotic places where you can get authentic food but he chooses to eat fucking fast food everywhere he goes <laughs> just like cheap whatever right yeah, yeah. 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 and everybody's like and it, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack stan like i'll, I'll keep yeah. saying that to him yeah 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 and when uh 
the steak really got me. I fucking thought oh, that was hilarious. He's like, you took one bite out of the steak. What was wrong with the steak? It's a forty dollars steak. What the fuck's wrong with it? what the fuck you did? <laughs> he takes a bite and he just like he grabs the bone and he's like, get in the car and he's like eating it while he's driving his Malibu, <laughs> timing him. I'm like, fuck man, this is like gold because he just lost his job and he's trying to watch his mm-hmm. money right like. Man, take it easy on the nine dollar Pringles, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah. Good. That no, was great. good. That was great. No, ah, and then uh, I knew, even though you kind of knew what was going to happen mm-hmm. too, like uh, how I was like, oh, he's stressed out, and then the wife was like, oh, I bet you it's the kid, it's this, whatever. Like, <laughs> Excuse me. When he gets to the when he gets to the the hotel there or whatever, and sees the kid in the pool, I'm like, oh, yeah. That yeah, stuff. that was that was like, yeah, you can just say, can you do something then? Yeah, like, bring in bring in the family in. You know, so. Yeah, Kermit, what a mm-hmm. fucking prick. Oh, like, Kermit, yeah. Kermit. <laughs> You're letting the guy named after Kermit the Frog get in your head? The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he's pretty good, uh-huh. pretty good at trash talking, though, apparently. Uh-huh. That's how he got, got the role. Apparently, uh, the guy who plays the main character, Bo. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, they asked him about like who's a good trash talker, and he said Anthony Edwards because they played together on uh, mm-hmm. Minnesota. I guess. Minnesota, yeah. Okay. So now he plays with uh, Utah. Mm-hmm. I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't, he just got waived recently. Maybe he just oh, maybe got re- resigned, but mm. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's like oh, a few months after the movie releases, he gets waved. It's mm-hmm. like well, you can tell he's definitely not as good as the movie makes him out to be. But uh, <laughs> right, yeah, just needed a foreigner guy, mm-hmm. I guess. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and then uh, tons and tons of cameos. So which was very cool mm-hmm. for me. I'm like, hey, is this guy? Hey, is this guy? Yeah, even like in the background, it's like. Just like even like quick click little flashes, like oh that's Jimmy Goldstein. <laughs> like, why, why would he? Why would they get him to be in this movie? Just like, mm-hmm. just like an eccentric, uh, eccentric uh, millionaire guy who constantly just shows up to Lakers games. Like yeah, we'll put him. Right. In the is that the, that the guy at the end with the, with the weird suit? <laughs> he's got like yeah, a weird was, cowboy was, hat was, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah like yeah, that yeah. guy. Okay. Yeah, he's just like, a big Lakers fan, and he's like a millionaire, so he just yeah. Constantly yeah that's it's like at the funeral. Uh, Mark Cuban was there too. I saw him in there. Did mm-hmm. you see him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, oh fuck, he's in this too. Like, oh yeah, because he's a he owns which team does he own? Dallas. I can't remember. Dallas. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I knew he owned a team, but I can't. Fuck, I can't remember which one it was. But at least I know that much. Like, oh fuck, that's Mark Cuban. Because <laughs> <laughs> he used to have his own reality show, didn't he? He's like, I'll give you a million dollars if you can entertain me. Like, basically, like, he'd make people take him places or do stuff that would, like, entertain him and blow his mind. I know he's on uh, Shark Tank or whatever, but... Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but he had his own reality show. I gotta find out what it's called. And it was just like, holy man, talk about a guy who has way too much money. He's like, I'm bored. Entertain me. Bring me somewhere that whatever, blah, blah, blah. I used to watch that show, actually, like, religiously. Uh, Mark Cuban's reality show. What the fuck was it? The Benefactor. Do you guys remember that one? No. No. Not you got a two point seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Mark yeah, Cuban. So uh, yeah, he gathers together sixteen people who know they're vying for a prize of one million dollars. You just don't know the rules of the game because Cuban's gonna make them up as it goes. He makes it up as it goes, like just be yourself and impress me. That's all. That's all he asks you to do. So some people are like pretending to be like, "Oh, I come from a broken home. I got this." Blah 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 blah. But then you find out that they're actually like, like actual millionaires, and they're pretending not to be so like he does a little bit of background and he's like what the fuck so he just like he's like i'm not gonna tell them that i know who they are i'm just gonna let this play out it's just like <laughs> just totally fucks with them too sorry not to change the subject or anything but yeah that's how i know him and that's how i know he owned mm-hmm. a basketball company and he's got mansions everywhere he's mm-hmm. just fucking super rich and super rich yeah it's like stupid rich man i yeah. wish mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. but anyways great movie Great, Great movie. movie. <laughs> like, I feel like we keep saying that over and over. Good movie. Yeah. Good movie. Good movie. Good movie. Good movie. Yeah. Good movie. But it's like, like you said, there's not a whole lot to say about it because it's a uh, no. you know pretty run of the mill movie. There's like mm. a, you've seen this formula before, but they execute it pretty darn well. <laughs> they do. Yeah, it's it's not yeah not a groundbreaking formula for sure. It's been <laughs> seen before, but 
still entertaining. That's why yeah. it's used over and over, right? So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's just something about it that just feels like new, kind of. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think like the one th- kind of another cool twist is, you know, like usually in these movies, it's like, you know, oh, he's such so so good at like, you know, he'd be typically he'd be like a good scorer or something. And it's like, but it's actually. He's hustling people like on on oh. defense. He's like, oh no, you can't can't make a basket, let alone you, the ball can't touch the rim against me, kind of thing. He's just, mm-hmm. just yeah. that good at uh, mm-hmm. swatting the ball away. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, stuffing them. Yep, not in my house. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's good. Uh, even the mother, the daughter, everything, the whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think of his acting? Of uh, the main guy, Bo, the basketball player. Yeah, nah, he's whatever. It was okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, he hel- it helps I mean, that he's foreign, so that way, it, like, yeah, it covers it up a lot. Yeah, like there's a couple of parts that I thought were pretty good, like when he finally made, or when he's like running up the thing there, and he starts walking. He's like, "What the fuck are you walking for?" He's honking the horn at him. He's like, "I'm gonna hit your ankles," blah blah. blah and he just like stops, and then he like sits in the Malibu and like lays on top of him, <laughs> and he's like, "Ah, you're getting swept by Malibu." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, funny because it's just like just like a father son kind of yeah thing going on and i thought that part was like oh yeah okay yeah that's pretty cool. good mm-hmm. yeah i don't know it, it was it was good you know and it, i felt uh, he sold it for me how much he loved his daughter and all that stuff too and mm-hmm. when he talked about his dad and the tattoos what they meant and all that stuff too that was all really good the oak tree tattoo at was the cool. end yeah that was cool i mm-hmm. like yeah. that mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's good no, well, no, he did. He did all right. He did all right. The guy that played Kermit was pretty good. The shit uh-huh. talker. Yeah, what a prick, man. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I knew right away when uh, they went to the uh, the cube, whatever the fuck it's called there. The combine. Um, the combine. Yeah. And uh, his daughter was there, and I'm like, oh, Kermit's gonna use the family against them. <laughs> He's gonna say something about it. And he yeah. blows a kiss to the daughter. The daughter's confused and just like waves to him. Just like, oh, you fucker, you. P- Rick, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he came up with his own insults because some of them were pretty good. They call, they call you a boa now? Is that because you swallow anything? <laughs> <laughs> I did that job for me, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, even Adam Sandler, when he was, when his character in Sugar Bin was fucking mm-hmm. blasting jokes at him while they were training, that was so yeah. funny, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your mom's not a whore. And she gives that fat oh. ass away for free. <laughs> yeah. He's just chasing after him. He's like, oh, wait, uh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have any, uh, any favorite parts at all from the Oh, boy. Favorite parts. The steak was my, one of my favorite parts. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Because mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. just kind of showed, like, his financial situation. Like, oh, shit, I got to watch how much I spend and yeah. all this stuff, too. I thought that was pretty good. Pretty funny. He's not letting the steak go to waste. I thought that was mm-hmm. good. And uh, uh, when he's having a meltdown on the phone, trying to mm. call anybody that can help oh, him. Oh yeah, that he was takes a it and He throws yeah. it, and I'm like, ooh, yeah. fuck, man. Like, yeah, I feel See? you, man. And the daughter's yeah. like watching, and then when Queen Latifah gave him a hug and tried to like calm him down, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. that was like, good. that was a moment that you also surprised from him as well. I was like, holy shit, like he's like. You feel it from him, like yeah, he's he's really selling it surprisingly, yeah. Cause... Yeah, he's not just yelling <laughs> stupidly like he does in all his other movies. He's actually like, you could tell like he's just bleeding. Like, yeah. I need this. I need yeah. this. Like I don't want to fuck this kid over or myself. Yeah. And no, yeah, I thought mm-hmm. that was really good. That those were my favorite parts. I think for sure. No, I, for me, it was probably the the last scene that the not the first time they cut that second secret secret Saudi camp, the second game there where he finally is able to like just play and. You know, get get his revenge on Kermit and just like mm-hmm. just be be sh- and show how good he is finally, right? So yeah, that was mm-hmm. that was like a very much like fuck yeah the moment, right? So yeah, see, yeah. yeah, and see that's a great that's a great uh, um, example of good filmmaking. How mm-hmm. the tension at the the combine is because everybody's there. They got suits, they got reporters, they got like mm-hmm. wealthy people there, got owners. Yeah. everybody's there. It, and then they go to that sh- other gymnasium, and it's just like you could just tell it's just so relaxed. Yeah, and you just immediately as soon as you're in that gym, it's just like. Okay, we're good. I can be myself. I can, mm-hmm. you know, not worry about all that background shit. Mm-hmm. Like that I, just, remind- I just automatically felt more relaxed watching that because as soon as you got to the combine, I was so stressed out the whole time. Yeah, like 
Yeah. It reminded me of that uh, in the scene in, in th- uh, one up to the last dance. We we're talking about uh, when they were filming Space Jam. Like Michael Jordan had his own like special like private yeah. venue to practice, and he brought in like NBA stars like for months, and they played. And said so that was some of the best games ever played, and no one ever watched them because it was just us. It was us playing, no cameras, no crew, and the media, just guys having fun, and it was awesome. Like that would have been awesome to watch. It's, that's what it reminded me of. Like just like guys in their elements, just playing and just playing ball, relaxed, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that was really, that was a cool moment. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I really liked the uh, at the end there were like him walking out the tunnel with uh, Doc, mm. Doc Rivers finally like, getting getting to the, his first game or whatever. Yeah, I thought it was just like a cool sequence mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, and wraps up with him. But like, I would have liked to see more uh, come up. It's come up for the for um uh, what what was the son's name? Uh, Vin Vince Vin. Vince. Like just yeah. being a dink all movie and this is just like yeah I'm taking over more. Like what the fuck were you to begin with? This mm-hmm. brother's an asshole. <laughs> Help yeah, fuck. just shows how much of a pussy he kind of is, and he just yeah. like yeah, just slipped out of the limelight, and then the sister came in and took over. And yeah, I mm-hmm. love that part too. That was like oh mm-hmm. yeah, nice. That's typical, but that's good mm-hmm. though. That's still mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She should have been more involved when mm-hmm. she let him go the first time. Like where the fuck was exactly she when that yeah first happened. Right, but it's like it's it's interesting too because like I don't know if it comes it comes across like in the movie, but like he he does say it, but it's it's like they could have gotten like Bo Cruz for free, mm-hmm. like yeah, they, they, been... they they were gonna stash him essentially like just like work him out, and then like after the draft, just sign him as a undrafted mm-hmm. like free agent, and then right. like then they could have gotten also another pick. Or another draft pick or whatever, they could have had like mm-hmm. two like really good players, but yeah, the, the son was no, a uh, dipshit and didn't see what was uh, what was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, value right in front of him instead. Yeah, he is just being ignorant and pretty much wanted it his way, and look what happened. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize that uh, minimum was nine hundred thousand a year. That the mother's asking about. It. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's good. You say yourself, he's good. You should get yeah. maximum. No. And he's like, well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, how much is minimum? Well, usually it's right around nine hundred thousand a year. And she's like, "You call in sick tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> right away." I'm like, "Fuck! I would give up my whole life for that a year. Could you fucking imagine? Right. Just under oh, a yeah. mil, American? That stupid amount of money." Yeah. 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 I like that that scene when he like works out with those uh Spanish players and he like does mm-hmm. the, the vertical test or whatever to hit the Yeah whatever the height, fucking yeah. spinny the spinny things are. Yeah. And then like okay, quit fooling around, put some sneakers on, they're like, Oh fuck, you did that in flip flops? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna hurt yourself. Go put some shoes on and it's like and it pans down to his feet. I'm like, Oh he's wearing flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! This guy can't even afford shoes, man. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, play. First time we see him, he's playing a freaking uh, work, work shoes. shoes. Yeah, yeah. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's good. I like. Awesome. I loved it. It was very good. Mm-hmm. I I feel like uh, my brothers would really like this movie because mm-hmm. they're huge sports fans and they love. If you if you enjoy it as a normal sports movie, you'd get a hell of a kick out of it. Yeah. Oh, so, even if you just any... enjoy basketball, they would just know like see the whole process of how everything's like. They'd probably just be like, "Oh, this is so good!" Like. Mm-hmm. I know they would. <laughs> so if you're into sports or whatever, like, yeah, this will be. It's the most interesting the combine will ever be. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Is that even televised? Uh, maybe like on NBA League Pass or something like that. Okay, maybe yeah. you can stream yeah. it if you're like I've never heard of, super I, diehard. I, I <laughs> But I never really knew that of that of that it existed at all. That was like combine. What the fuck's the combine? And, oh, I the, see. It's the NFL <laughs> combines more of a televised thing, but then mm-hmm. compared, but yeah, still just mm-hmm. people fucking running forty yards. Like wow, he ran it pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Now what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Let's measure mm-hmm. how big his hands are. How big his wingspan is. Yeah, it's like they're measuring meat. At like a 4-H thing, like oh, much, taking yeah. his weight and measuring them, and it's just like human livestock. Yeah. Like, oh, these are judging him, our judging super him animals here. Yeah, it's pork. important. Gotta know that stuff. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the Raptors, yeah. they only draft people with fucking seven foot wingspan. 
Big Devin big, foot wings bad. Big, Fuck me. Big long bastard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I'll try I and that pass the that. ball while we're all spread out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that Bo Cruz, his wingspan must be freaking insane, man. Just like the way he's running, too, he's just like a giraffe. <laughs> this one guy calls him a giraffe on rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a giraffe on rollerblades. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. What is uh Steph Curry basketball? That wolf had a baby. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Steph Curry. He's only 6'9? I thought he seemed taller than that, but. I Ooh. thought for sure he was 7 feet. Same, yeah. I thought he was, uh, thought it was yeah. like 7 some. Basketball reference says 6'9. Hmm. Originally drafted by the Denver Nuggets in uh, 2016, first round, pick number 15. Denver Nuggets. Watch so, how long has. How boys. long had he been playing basketball before he came into this movie? Uh, the, he's pretty new or no? No, he's been playing since uh 2016. So, okay, yeah, <laughs> he's uh he's he's been passed around a lot. He's been on a lot of teams. Well, okay. a few teams: Denver, <clears throat> Minnesota, Boston, Sacramento, Utah last year. Yeah, three whole teams last year. Okay. Yeah. I think he's kind of a not, not that great. <laughs> <laughs> Average averages three point three uh three point three point uh sorry, three point three points, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. Last year. So lighten up the score board. Um oh. we got a review from Cameron. I better read that before I forget. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Cameron, he wrote in about Hustle. He says, overall, I thought Hustle was all right. You can tell Sandman loves the game so much it makes it hard to knock the guy for making the movie. Uh, Story was reminiscent of a 90s basketball movie like the air up there. So it had some nostalgic charm to it. I thought the strength of the film was definitely its editing and its montage training sequences. Uh, in the end, Sandman now has his own basketball double feature with a feel-good hustle, and then once the kids are put to bed, the anxiety roller coaster uncut uncut gems. Highly recommend. Thanks, guys. Uncut gems. <laughs> uncut, uncut gems. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> <It's> slip. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't seen that one. I don't know. I... Oh, no, yeah. Even after this one, you're all even more intrigued. See so him in another uh, dramatic role. I've heard it's good. I've heard it's good. yeah, same. Oh, uh, well, tempting. Well, weird we'll, we'll sleeve try. ball guy. I have to see because you have to be in the mood for a really stressful movie. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's what it would be—just constant stress. Like it's like Ozark, I guess. If I can get through three, four seasons of that shit, then I should be able to watch mm-hmm. this movie. Ozark is literally the physical representation of stress mm-hmm. and anxiety. Uncut gems. Uncut uncut gems. Uncut, uncut gems. gems. That's got the same pretty much the same ratings as the basketball one. Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> what do we watch? The, the basketball the one with the basketballs in See, it. it's called hustle <laughs> because he's got to hustle to train, but he's also hustling people for money. Uh, you get the reference? I get it. You are this to name how, it. And how he gets famous? He gets famous by hustling. So yeah, that's yeah. all worked out. In the yeah, end. exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, where do we rank it? <laughs> Our three movies so far. We what was it? We have a uh, Shawshank. Goodfellas, Top Gun. No, Maverick's not on there. Oh, Top Gun. Okay. Just regular Top Gun. I would put this, uh, Shawshank. Oh, what was the other one? Shawshank. Goodfellas. uh, Goodfellas. I put this number three in my list right now. Yeah, I put it, I put it above, (laughs) just below Goodfellas and right above Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. I I probably agree with that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's, that's solid. (laughs) <laughs> Nobody in a good faith could put it above <laughs> good films. I mean, it's 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 it is you know, it's very uh, you've seen it all right. before, but it's still good, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. No, I, I never, I haven't seen it all. I remember watching um, Million Dollar Arm. Sort of the same idea. Yeah, that's very much like he's he find he finds a a prospect in another in country, India, right? In India, yeah, for another sport, but brings him to the U.S. to be a ball player and trains him up. But yeah, it's the same same kind of concept as that too. Really. But yeah, just hold a different way by a different person, but still still good. You want to know how that uh, story ends? No. He goes to MLB. And he sucks. No, yeah. yeah. But do you know what he does after the MLB? He becomes a WWE superstar. <laughs> he's legit. Really? Res- he's wrestling in the WWE right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Billy <laughs> Dollar Arm too. too <laughs> he's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right. Did not wow. see that coming. Wow. That's like Michael Jordan going to play in the MLB. What's his fucking name? I forget his name. He's got a big ass beard now. WWE. Uh. Veer, Veer Mahan. Veer Mahan. Sounds like Vince McMahon. I'll share share a picture on. Discord. I made that. I made that. Because it's uh, it's medical. I'm gonna send you a picture on Discord of this guy now. The beast. (laughs) Oh man! (laughs) Look at this guy. (laughs) That's awesome. There we go. All right. Well, that was a nice. For people nice. watching, listening, <laughs> uneventful two minutes. But anyways, I think that's good. Uh, sorry, I, 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 yeah. yeah. All good, all good. Um, well, let's, I guess, uh, any final thoughts? What are we going to watch next? Oh, boy. I'm not even sure. Oof. Figure it out later. Yeah. Figure it out in the day, yeah, no. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Still got to watch The Room eventually. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's a special occasion. Special part. occasion. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. 100, 100 sub special. Yeah. Yeah. Two years from now? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully not. Right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that's going to do it for today's podcast. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment with a friend. Um, Comment with a friend. Share with a friend. Share with a friend, yeah. I'm tired, guys. I'm really, really tired mm-hmm. today. <laughs> Um, and if you're listening on podcast service, you can leave us a rating and uh, subscribe Mm -hmm. and then head over to our Facebook page, like the page, submit a question. You can submit uh, a recommendation for what to watch next. We'll look at that for sure. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. We'll talk to you on Friday. Adios. Goodbye. See ya. See ya.